Hello guys, welcome back to another episode and today we're gonna be showing you something really special How to speed up any internet connection on Windows 10 Before that, let me tell you something This video don't promote any scam programs All the tricks we are using here is 100% legit, legal and tested working And one last thing before get started Any of these tricks shown in this video won't cause any kind of damage to your device or software For the time saving, I'm gonna show you what speed we will get after after speed up process and what speed we will get before the speed up process simultaneously in split screen. Have a look. After and before. On the left side of the screen you are seeing the speed test we took before the speed up process. And on the right side you are seeing the speed test that we took after the speed up process. It's both showing simultaneously because of the video editing software. <laughs> for you to know what you can expect from this video. Well, that's it, let's start. If you are suffering with your internet speed or if you wanna boost your badass internet to the next level, this is the video for you. I'm not talking about doubling your internet speed with some creepy software. Let's say goodbye to those scams. All I'm talking about how you get the maximum speed out of your internet connection or how you get the maximum from what you're paying for. Literally, you can consume the extreme level of your internet speed from your available bandwidth without spending a single penny more. You can speed up any internet connection or your Windows 10 worldwide. Whether it is your broadband, wireless broadband, Wi-Fi, public Wi-Fi, USB dongle, fiber wire connection. Whatever it is, you can speed it up with my method. No matter who your service provider, no matter which connection type you have, forget it all, keep watching, I have the solution and I'm gonna give it to you for free. Before starting the process, let's gonna check my internet speed for first time. Let's see what we got. Going to the speedtest.net which is the best speed test website out there ever and my personal favorite link will be in the description check out that if you want to test your connection now you can see the server here keep it in mind now i'm gonna hit the start test button it's measuring my connection here you can see my connection speed guys it's showing 700 kbps of downloading speed it's near 1 mbps 1000 kbps is equal to 1 mbps so let's say it's close to 1 mbps and my up is showing 400 kbps keep this figures and server on your mind for the testing purpose. Let's start speed up. Step number one, I'm gonna name it Group Policy Editor. I know some of you out there are not aware of this kind of things, Group Policy Editor. For them, I'm gonna tell you how to get the Group Policy Editor thing on Windows 10. And before that, I wanna tell you something specially for those who are not running a Windows 10 home version. Guys, you're unlucky, unfortunately, the Group Policy Editor is only available on Windows 10 superior version than home version like pro enterprises etc i feel sorry to say that but it is the truth of course you can try the step two to speed up your internet wait and watch that or you can try searching some trick to get the group policy editor on your windows 10 home version whatever i'm not forcing you to do that guys you're on your own but what we are gonna do today is 100 percent day safe and tested working as i said earlier on this video follow my instruction let's start click on the windows icon or somehow get to the start menu and search run and click on run and type gped.msc inside the search box i mean inside the run search box and hit enter or press ok now you can see something like this on your desktop this is it guys group policy editor double click on computer configuration then double click on administrative templates then double click on network then double click on QoS pack scheduler. Wow, that was too many dents and double clicks. Shit. Then double click on. Oops. Okay, just open limit tracer bandwidth. What we're gonna do is change the bandwidth limit. You can see by default it is 80 percentage. Let's change it to the zero percentage to get the maximum speed out of your internet connection. You got me, people? Make it zero. If you can access this box, make sure you select it enable up here. Now click on apply. Next, hit this button, previous settings. Now we are in the different section, number of packer settings. By default, it is showing 65535, change it to the maximum. Let's click inside and type 4 and hold 
zeros as long as you can now press enter now it's showing something some dialog box it shows the number in this field was larger than the maximum value of for the zero 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 okay four and nine zeros so we got the maximum value press ok now you can see it's in the maximum that's all you can do on group policy editor click on apply and exit group policy editor now let's start step two open dns super speed get to this web page link will be in the description and choose a dns from this given high speed dns servers if you don't know what the heck is a dns server just google it we don't have the damn time to explain that kind of things just kidding guys according to wikipedia open dns is a company and service which extend the domain name system dns by adding features such as pushing protection and optional content filtering to traditional recursive dns services what the heck that means Okay, now you can find lots of other DNS server on internet out there. I found something for you, the best ones among DNS servers and I put it on my website so you can find it more easily. It seems like there is more, you can google it and uh, if you want you can get more DNS servers. I tested most of them and I found the best one that perfectly worked for me. You can try them all yourself and figure out which one will perfectly work for you. Your best may be different, if you have some extra time. Try each one of them and found the best high speed DNS for you. I will show you a demonstration on how to add this high speed DNS on your PC. Example, I'm gonna use this DNS server to boost my internet on Windows 10. Let's add this high speed DNS to my network adapter. For that, let's click on the network icon or internet icon. You can find the network icon or internet icon on the bottom right side of your taskbar on your Windows 10 PC. Then click on open network and sharing center from this pop-up menu now click on the change adapter settings then choose your network adapter right click on it select properties scroll down and uncheck the settings internet protocol version 6 up here you can see internet protocol version 4 double click on it now it's time to add the dns server just click on use the following dns server addresses now go to the web page fetch your high speed dns servers copy the first one and and paste it to the preferred DNS server field. Now go and get the second one and paste it to the alternate DNS server. Then hit OK. Here we go, all the optimization process have been done. Now let's run another speed test and see what the change. Going to the speedtest.net, you can see we are testing with the same server. Oops, before that I'm gonna delete the cookies and catches on my browser so that we can get more accurate results on this website. It's done. I'm hitting the start test button, it is testing, whoa, unbelievable guys, downloading speed is showing 1.1 Mbps, that means 1100 Kbps, before optimization or speed up process, it only shows 700 Kbps, so it is a great achievement, hit like if you like this achievement, and what about the uploading speed, it shows far better than before, 500 Kbps, previously it only shows 3 300 kbps i mean before the speed up process so it's a complete success i wish this could helpful to you to boost your internet connection if you found my video helpful please leave a thumbs up and show me the love if you have any new trick comment it below i love to hear them if you have any doubt feel free to ask it's my pleasure to replay you guys thank you if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button. There is more videos coming soon. Subscribe to Geeks Tutorial now on YouTube so you don't miss it. You can also find us on social media. Visit our website at geekstutorial.com. Until next time, this is Amal Rafi and thanks for watching. We'll see you around.